Hello and welcome back to Pitch Invasion TV and another discussion episode. And this discussion episode is about one man and that's David Moyes. How is he doing at Man United? Everyone's, are you Moyes in? Are you Moyes out? What are you, Jay? Personally, I'm Moyes in. Um, I think the subject's come up that Moyes in, Moyes out. It's come up just purely because of the fact that Ferguson was the manager before. Yeah, yeah. Any I, other manager? No. They would have given him a chance. He needs to put his own stamp on it, especially if he wants to win over the dressing room or anything like that. So who's he brought in? He's brought in Fellaini, really. <coughs> Fellaini. You know, there's a few bizarre har, but he was already bought during. Fellaini Ferguson. was a bit of a panic buy towards the end, just because he didn't get his man. He didn't get Fabregas. Yeah. Um, he did what he didn't get Baines. No. He wanted Fellaini in the start, but they ended up paying more than they should have done. Fellaini last season at Everton played a lot at centre attacking mid yeah. but Moyes seems to be taking him back to centre defensive mid personally I think that Fellaini plays better in a more advanced role but the reason why he can't play there for United is because you've got the likes of Rooney Van Persie uh, Welbeck Hernandez Valencia Nani all of those lot Fellaini still does a job at centre defensive mid or centre mid um, but what about the defensiveness of, of Michael Carrick already? So you've got Michael Carrick and Fellaini playing in the same side. But I think they like having the just the two holding. Also, like the kind of player they have on the bench or in, even in the reserves is Kagawa. Yeah. Um, personally, I think he's probably better than most of the United players going forward. He's proved himself. He's a really good player. And he still goes with playing like Cleverly, who I don't rate at all. That's our first question. Who do you play? Do you play Cleverly? Or Kagawa, keeping in mind that they're not the same player, we know, but Kagawa's going to get you more goals, and especially if Van Persie's injured, who are you going to play, Kagawa or Cleverly? Uh, subscribe to Pitch Invasion TV and comment down below and let us know who you would prefer to see in the Man United side. What do you think? Do you think it's Moyes' fault, or do you think it's just the players not sort of adapting to the way Moyes likes to train? Uh, I'm not too sure. I think if you look at how he played with Everton, it looks similar to how he set up this Man United side. The Man United side this season is different from last season, definitely. Yeah. He hasn't gone in and just said, look, do what you did last year. He has tried to implement, and that's fair enough, you know, he's he the manager. He, he wants, wants to, to make it his own team, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, but he, so he should, you know what I mean? He's been yeah, given the role, he's done his time at Everton. There's a lot that people can go against him on, tactic-wise, like he, he's not as attacking as Ferguson was. No. Is but are we saying that only because Van Persie isn't on f as much form as he was last yeah. year? Yeah. If you had Ferguson or Moyes in front of you, who would you want to play for? Yeah. It's going to be Ferguson, isn't it? Yeah. I think they have like such a big desire and drive to. They wanted to play for Ferguson when they were under him because they had something to prove to such. Or a... he'd kick a boot in their face. Exactly. He was. He was such an unbelievable manager. With Moyes, they sort. They sort of think oh, we won a title. He's just been managing Everton for the last years. Yeah. Last but few years. With that being said. Do you think Moyes is doing the right thing? Because the, the players that he's played the most are all the kind of old guard from the last Man United team. Yeah. Should he be trying to focus on building a new side? I think Moyes is trying to bring in a slightly younger side. He's brought in Yanis who scored two great goals in his debut. Um, also, he's looking to use Zaha as well. He hasn't really featured much this season. He hasn't had that much experience in the Champions League. He's not used to having to rotate the squad around for when it comes into Champions League games. The fans need to kind of get off Moyes' back a little bit. They know that you know every manager deserves more time and you can't be uh, a Chelsea where you just constantly change because that's not how to build stability. So this is kind of like another way that you could set Man United up. Playing 4-2-3-1 uh, uh, is really reminds me of how Bayern Munich play. You know, your playmaker in the middle, uh, and, and you've got a number of fast players. wingers and then you've got a world-class striker up front. That's really kind of how I think if Man United are going to really go for the Champions League, how I would set them up. Yeah. And the big thing for David Moyes is to get a, a cup under his belt. I think if he really attacks like the FA Cup, really goes for it uh, and puts out a strong I side. I 100% can't see Moyes getting sacked. I think it's a really interesting one um, and it's one that's going to develop over the season. Um, as with every other discussion episode, we love to hear from you guys. Um, so don't forget to comment down below if you disagree, if you agree, or if you just want to comment on anything that we've mentioned in the video today, uh, let us know. Um, that's it. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you later. See you then.